Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, so we've had us a pretty big snow today and it's nasty outside and I'm really thankful for that because uh, I'm not working outside cleaning up tree limbs from our ice storm we had. I've been working my tail off doing that. Uh, yesterday, a friend of mine from work came by and we loaded up a trailer and his pickup with uh, firewood from trees, tree limbs that I've cut down. So uh, this is a nice break. So on a nasty day like today, it's a good day to get started on my year in review uh, video. So 2020 has been quite a year for lots of things, good and bad, uh, mostly good. Uh, the pandemic was crazy, but fortunately for me, I've got plenty of stuff to do around here and uh, so not being able to get out in public, it don't bother me at all. So uh, from that perspective, you know, it, it's, it's not that bad on us. So uh, lots of things happened this year and uh, I won't talk about it here. I'll just run through it in the video. It's a good day to uh, do this. Lots of editing to do a year in review video. I'll probably work on this uh, probably two or three days to get this out. So it's usually kind of long, but uh, I'll put a lot of footage in here uh, from photos and stuff from my phone and Instagram and things like that uh, that you didn't see throughout the year uh, on my normal videos. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Stick around and check it out, and uh, we'll catch you in 2021. Y'all take care. Get them down so I don't smash any here or trap any. I'll throw one of these patties in here. Okay.
bringing in yellow pollen. That's not from, uh, that's not Bee Pro. Also, what I see here is it's a bunch of drowned bees in there. I didn't think this kind of feeder would do that. Cause see how they're walking on the sides? I don't get why that happened. So anybody has experience with these feeders, let me know.
Okay, there's our queen. She's green, which means uh, she's last year's queen. So she's a one year old. So usually, well not usually, sometimes they're less apt to swarm if it's a younger queen. But that's not the case in this case right here. I'm going to set them on this bottom board so uh, that queen, if she falls off, will still be in the hive. So now what we need to do is get this queen in this new artificial swarm resources they need to thrive. So we need to give them a brood frame or two because this will hold five and uh, which she's on a brood frame now and we need to get some honey and some pollen in there too. Or that, that one's brood. Let me check this one. It's a little bit on here. Go ahead and take this one. So now we need to concentrate on some honey. So I'm gonna skip these two and go right for the outside. Oh, ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. Hate getting stung on the face. Ah, y'all need to calm down. Mercy. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Okay, got to go get some uh, frames. Get in here, get this thing filled back up, and get the heck out of here. Ah! Dang it. Right on the nose. How are they getting in there? Get off of me. Sure, this is entertaining for you guys, but man, this one sucked. The big one. They were so gentle when I started and broke it open in the middle. What in the world happened? Three, six, nine. Oh, there's another one on my neck. Ah, ah, it got me on the ear. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Yes, I know. Ah, get off of me. <laughs> oh, my God, that was horrible. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta <coughs> put these two nukes. I'm gonna go place them over here. I'm not gonna video that. I'm gonna end this sucker now. <laughs> Man, why didn't I wear my full suit? Give me a thumbs up if you would, and please subscribe on your way out, and we'll catch you ah! Ah! on the eye. Ah! We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.
Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so my notes on this hive said that I saw one queen cup that was white inside, which means there was a uh, queen being formed. So let's get the bees off of here. Yeah. So they're not as far along as I thought they might be, but there are some queens being formed in here. One right there. I'm on focus. And one right, which one? Right there. Looks like there's one in there too. So there's one there. There's one there. All right, I think we've seen what we need to see. It's too early to split it for sure. Uh, we could look for the queen and pull her out of there. But uh, let's get on over to uh, Hive 16 over here and uh, take a look at it because it might need, it may be ready. I don't want to waste my time messing with this when it's not. some right here it's probably good Let's see if I can get a close-up of that now there see the eggs in there right ab above where I notched that out Look at this one. Yeah, see there's two right there. That larva on the right, see that's too old for them to do a, a good queen. So there's bee bread on here that they can use and there's honey up in the corners and, and nectar. So this frame has everything they need to be self-sufficient and feed these young. Okay, we got us one right there, not capped off yet. That's on the bottom. I don't remember notching right there. I distinctly remember notching here. Come on, there we go. So you can't really tell. So they pulled one. I remember this spot. There were two eggs on the left and a larva on the right. So So which one did they use? <laughs> and we got two here. I think they did those on their own. Because I notched. I think up here. Let's see, down here, up here, and over here. 
I'll try and go back and do a comparison. Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, this week what we got going on is I uh, actually sold the two nukes that were over there on the right. A nice guy came down from uh, Rush Springs south of here and picked those up. And uh, thanks to him for buying those. We did a five frame exchange so you can see the frame sitting over there next to Hive 27, that tall one on that little short hive there. So uh, it was kind of late in the evening, I didn't get everything picked up. so. One thing I need to do is get all that cleaned up and uh, the, uh, the nuke boxes are laying back there in the back. So I need to get those picked up and put away in the barn. And uh, so uh, we've still got four of our main hives that are queenless as of uh, June 5th. Today is the 16th. So uh, last time I was in, uh, three of them was the 5th and I checked another one on the 8th and they're still queenless. Uh, they had some supersedure cells in there still, some of them and some didn't. So uh, it's time to quit messing around with queenless hives this time of year. By the time we get a mated queen in there, if we do, you're gonna be into uh, end of July and August. Three full supers. They're all like this. Okay, all done. So we added uh, three supers and one deep to the pile. So we have 17 supers and two deeps. And from what I can tell, these are all pretty full. Uh, some of them have on one frame on the end that the very outside of it may not be drawn out, but uh, they are all full and all capped. Uh,
so I'm only stacking them uh, too high just to prevent cracking of the, the buckets these are the heavy-duty buckets got six here and I've got six here so that's all 12 of my new buckets so it's uh almost 10 o'clock Sunday night 9 30 ish man I'd be been doing this two days straight after two days of harvesting out in the heat man uh, harvesting honey and extracting is hard work and uh, lots of motrin man my back is killing me it's, uh, it's been a good year really thankful for our harvest and uh, I will finish this up in the house so you can see uh, I'll tally up the total pounds so you can see it So here's the honey weight that came in. So we had 15 buckets and here's the weights, uh, the gross weight that I weighed on the scales. And I took the 2.2 uh, pound tear weight off and it's five gallons. So the 15th bucket was the cappings tank and I did three different uh, pulls off of that. And the third one got us up to uh, 52.2 pounds, which put that capping tank at an even 50 pounds of honey. So, what does that come to? So, the total was 743 pounds, and the net weight taken out the buckets was 710 pounds even. And if you calculate the weight of that in gallons, 11 pounds per gallon, that was uh, 64 and a half gallons. And uh, last year I had 462 pounds uh, for a 248 pound increase, 53.7 percent increase over last year's harvest, which I was really surprised we did so well. <laughs> kind of calibrated to what an ounce is. Okay, there we go. So we'll let this sit and set up and uh, once it's fairly uh, covered on the top, then we can move it into the freezer or refrigerator and speed it up. So. Okay, it's been about an hour, and uh, or maybe an hour and a half. So let's see if we can get these out of here. Yeah, those come out easy that way. Okay, you can play Jenga. <laughs> All right, so uh, 
that is it. That is the process for rendering, rendering your wax, filtering it, and uh, getting it ready for use. So these are in one ounce beeswax. Wow, that started first pull. And I put heaping scoops, mostly. So when it's full, it looks about like that.
Ooh. Yeah, so this is nice. Uh, it's all compact put together. Got its own little lid. Has a little basket here. And the holes are oblong. See how they're kind of oblong shaped there? There you, There's a good shot of some right there. Oh yeah. That made a nice bunch there in the bottom. So there's my half cup. And we'll put these back in the hive. And I see her there. She's right in the middle. And I'm seeing a few mites coming out. If you can see those. Okay, just a quick little count. I counted 16 of them in there, which that is too many. See them kind of swishing around. Yep, so we need to hit this hive, I'd say at least a couple more times or just give it a whole nother round of three. Mm -hmm. 